everyone, I now have pleasure introducing the highly accomplished chief guest for the function, Shri V. K. Sharma, Chairman, Life Insurance Corporation of India. We are proud to mention that we have the privilege to have Sir in NIA's governing board. Thank you so much, Sir, for leading us, guiding us, and I invite you to please address us all. Ladies and gentlemen, kindly join me in the coming.
and wrote everything about Kali. So there was there, there was a there is a football field and there much was going on, and then uh, there was a cow grazing the grass nearby, and then the cow went into the stadium. Cow is a four-footed animal; it has to etc. etc. So this is when you have not uh, suggested me that which which uh, place I should put it in history, sociology, economics, politics, philosophy. Then uh, it means that it is out of syllabus. Friends, sir, this is but before that. Let me once again remember the great legend, Sir C. D. Deshmukh. Whenever I remember the name, I most of the time I wonder one thing. Somehow or the other, I mean uh, this name for any Eurasian, it keeps on coming again and again. Because uh, he is one person who is basically the architect of Life Insurance Corporation of India. But uh, I, every time, I wonder, he has not been a politician. He has not been a, I will say that uh, he has not been like our uh, Mahatma Phule or uh, whatever he called, or Baba Sahamte. He has been a career professional. But what he has done, that even after so many years of his death, even after very few of you may be knowing that he was born not even in 20th century. He is a person of 19th century. But what he, as a career professional, what he has done for which he is being remembered even now. And can as a career professional we do the same thing? If not, and that size, that magnitude, maybe on a smaller proportion. There have been many ICS, there have been many IAS. How many of them? of names you remember, how many can be credited with creating institutions? A person with such a humble background grew in such a way, not for himself, but for the entire society. Now friends, if such people build the institutions, those institutions are also like that. And I am proud that he built LIC and LIC is like this. So once again my salute to him. I will be, I will be talking about LIC and then I will be trying to link more with that what must have been his thought process and how, <coughs> how it has uh, created a genetic code I call it about LIC, always I call it a genetic code of LIC. How he has created a genetic code which has built an institution which is a story in itself. But before that, let us come to the same, the essay which has been given. If we see the history about life insurance industry in sustainable development of India, in place of India, you can put globe. We can claim in Britain, the, still the best knowledge base and the best industry base is from there. And right from the industrial revolution days, <clears throat> it has been the life insurance industry which has been growing behind and which has been supporting. So, I need not say more about the importance. In the United States, the giant institution, forget about the United US, you come to Japan, long back, I will say, maybe now it may not be so, sometimes in 2003, 2004, we were very, very, the competition has started, we used to analyze 
that who are the who are the which are the countries and which have the insurance companies and how they are like that and then the global that fortune 500 etc i remember at that time that of the 10 top 20 companies in fortune 500 16 were had the insurance background and out of that six were from japan whether it is Nippon, whether it is all, all, Sumitomo, all are there. I still, the, if you see the uh, assets and other things, insurance companies lead the world. And certainly that has helped Japan. That is uh, everywhere. So that is, a, that is another one part. That historically, <coughs> any country which has develop or which has worked for development, insolvency is one of the major components. Numbers, I will come, come later on, uh, some numbers will say, but let us come to politics. How many of you know that insurance business in India has been integral part of freedom struggle? Many people may not know. But many people know the name of uh, C.R. Das, great C.R. Das, or Lala Lajpatrai. They had insurance companies. You will be surprised. There were many. I mean, I am giving you two names. There, was, uh, there were many. And one of the role of insurance companies, which our uh, Rashtrita Mahatma Gandhi had defined because they had decided that nobody will serve British nation. So where people will go? They used to join the insurance companies and they used to do the freedom struggle also. Now this is, uh, this is again a politics. But now when I look back as an old man, as a young man I used to wonder, Are, no, no, this is one reason. Now when I look back, then I realize that fundamentally insurance is about people. So whoever is associated with insurance industry, inherently he is associated with the grassroots. And that is the best place for any movement. So this is about politics. Of this we can say many more things. About uh, sociology, certainly one sentence I would like to tell you. I do not know about general insurance part, but in life insurance, there is a very famous uh, saying from A to Z. And there is another famous saying from Chappal to Hawaii Jahaz. From sleepers to Hawaii Jahaz. There have been umpteen number of stories in the development of life insurance, which has influenced the persons and societies and created aspirations wherein an ordinary person joining an insurance seller has the dream to become the zonal manager. That's we A to Z, agent to zonal manager. That used to be the very, very, and many people have happened. It created, it has created a level wherein a very ordinary person with limited education also can dream <coughs> that he has the ladder to grow up in the society, economically and socially. Similar thing we used to say from sleeper to the people who joined and who did not have the sleepers in their legs, they are footed people and they have, when they continued their journey, they used to fly on Hawaii <coughs> aircraft. This is, this is about sociology. This is the change which insurance and life insurance industry has made in this country. Not few thousand people, I am using the word millions of people, millions of people. Talking about economics, you know, uh, there are so many things. Again, let us uh, Talk about uh, what is the relevance. 
Sarkar sir was uh, telling that uh, one more thing that uh, I had also just I was uh, not thinking that uh, sustainable insurance is the strategic approach defined by UNEB, Insurance Working Group. This is a concept consistent with the triple bottom line, succinctly described as equal planet and profit. It recognizes that the insurance industry being a lever of economic development, coupled with it, it, its intrinsic expertise in risk management has a critical role to play in addressing global challenges today and in future. Coming to, I mean, I will not uh, say much about uh, general insurance, though general insurance a spectrum is wider. And that's why I will not, uh, I mean, I will hesitate in, in moving that. But in life insurance, friends, uh, its importance uh, if uh, I say, besides the, I mean, creating the giant financial institutions, this is one thing which gives people hope. Insurance forces people to think about future. And that makes it different from day-to-day -day life and from day-to-day -day living to think about the future, that think about society, think about the planet. This, uh, this is one of the great contribution of life insurance subject and education, I would say. Coming back to Professor C. D. Deshmukh and uh, LIC of India. Many people ask me, what is the difference between LIC and other insurance companies? There can be many answers. But Again, I will come back, I will say that maybe because it was created by Professor Vesmo, the genetic code was different. Mm -hmm. And I quote most of the time that this Ananyas Chintayanto Maam Ye Jana Pari Pasate Tesham Nitya Yukta Na Yoga Kshema Maam. This uh, story all of you can read in uh, Google also. Nowadays, Google is God. Slightly lesser than God, but uh, it is like that. So you can see that story. It is, uh, it is taken from Gita. It is in the middle of Gita, and it is considered that it is tongue of Gita. It is tongue of Gita. What LIC or people who were building LIC have taken from it? The first thing they must have thought that there should be the mechanism of providing what people do not have. There should be the mechanism of protecting what they have. And there has to be a difference that all these things are done not after asking, but finding out and providing them at their doorstep. This, uh, this was written in Sloka and this people have taken. And friends, that's how LAC has been built up. After so many years, Many people who are here, uh, who are from LIC background, one of the biggest headache or one of the biggest, I will say that, uh, source of uh, worry and irritation from bosses in LIC used to be the issuance of claim particular C. When we used to be issued that, then still I remember that uh, pink, slip, pink slip, now the pink slip is different color. Uh, for different purpose. We used to be unhappy with the boss, particularly manager claims and uh, manager or branch manager. What is this? 
I will have to go to village, I will have to find out whether this man is there or not there. And then we used to be insisted that if you don't do it, you have not completed the job. You know what is that? No claim can be written off. Every claim will remain outstanding. And the last effort of trying to find out the beneficiary is through that. The person has to go to the village, to the town, to the doorstep and find out that why this person has not taken the money. No institution, no financial institution in the world has been created on this platform. We are in, you go to the bank, you, all of you are, have the experience, you don't renew your FD. What happens? They will not pay you anything extra. And if you do not withdraw it, they will not come to you and tell that your FD is lying. They will simply write it off after five years. But this is again, I say, change in genetic code. It has been, it was created. And that was the last. Before that, there are so many. I'm just taking. Because at that time, I used to feel unhappy. But now I feel the importance. And now I admire that what he has done. Carrying the benefit to people. That is one thing they changed. Now come back to another area where he made a change. Or maybe LIC is different from others. Nowadays, particularly in the competitive environment, again and again it is coming that uh, the agents, the commission, and all those things, and uh, all. I mean, nowadays uh, it is being, why commission should be paid, and this and that, and everything. You visualize that at that time when people were poor, and LIC, had, LIC when it was created, it had only 400 crore of assets. Only 400 crore of assets. <clears throat> At that time also, people had a visualization that this institution should be created wherein there is a participative development. Wherein this organization should be an organizing, uh, an organic or organization wherein everybody has the space to develop. It is a customer, it is a distributor, it is an employee, it is a nation. There are very few institutions who can claim that they have thousands of people in life insurance profession in third or fourth generation. LIC is proud that there are there might be in 1956 an agent has taken an agency because he was needy. But his second generation was certainly not needy. His third generation, maybe he is multimillionaire by his own. But still he is continuing with LIC business. This is parties. Why? Because he has a space. This was built up in 1956. And that is how this institution remains as strong even in post-competitive era. Friends, uh, these two are basic. There are many, many things uh, we can say that it was created differently. Now, you imagine that traditionally where we have invested, we would have invested in most profitable businesses. And what are the most profitable businesses in the world? Yes? Anybody can guess. What are the most profitable businesses in the world? <laughs> there are only... <laughs> it, will, it will always be related to vices. Most popular. We have not been there. We have not been there. We could have, we could have had uh, so many things. You will be, I will share with you, you will be surprised. 1956 LSE was built. In 1958, 
investment policy of LAC was created. And that investment policy was put up in the parliament by the then finance minister, Sri Moralji Desai. It is, it is a document worth reading today. Because still today, there are many financial institutions, they don't have even 50% of such comprehensive policy. And the way it explains, that is the third genetic code they have created for a reason. Very clearly it says, I wish that I could have read everything to you. Safety of the money collected from ordinary people is first, followed by reasonable returns. There will always be, investment will have only one focus and that is safety and return to the policyholders. Unless there is a national need. They have thought about it. Can you, how many of you know Damodar Valley Corporation? Many of you might have heard the name. When it was created, guess? Long, long, long back. Right? Many of you might not have gone. And who is the biggest investor in Damodar Valley Corporation? Life Insurance Corporation of India. I am not talking about Koena and other things, etc., etc. That's whose money? People's money. So people, we used to call it people's money for people's welfare. This, this, is, this is how we have, <coughs> we were, again, I, mean, I do not know whether it is a cow story, but I am uh, trying to make it that how life insurance, how insurance and life insurance is relevant and important for the national level. Name any institution and you will find that Life Insurance Corporation is one of the founders. Original promoters, original investors. Name any institution in the world, in India. It is not because of LIC, it is insurance. So uh, certainly this, I hope, will put the emphasis on role of life insurance and role of insurance in the development of the country. Development of. So far as sustainability is concerned, friends, anything which is done with, a, with two views. One, that it is for the people's welfare. It will be sustainable. We have played major role. One of the areas where I would like to share with you, I mean, of course, it is uh, more a number. In the first five-year plan, 1956 to 1961, LIC has contributed 100. Nowadays, now that uh, planning commission is gone, it has become the EIO. But we had a planned economy for quite some time. 184 crores. And in 2012 to 2017, it is 14 lakh crores. <laughs> that is the importance. That is the importance of being insurance. Another area which I would like to share with you, friends. But before that, I will ask a question. Which sector insurance industry operates? If you divide, if you go by economics, can anyone tell that which sector of economy we operate? Financial services one. Above that, if I start with the beginning, economy has how many sectors? Very simple three. What is that? Primary, secondary and? 
टर्सेरी तो विच सेक्टर वी ऑपरेट प्राइमरी सेकेंडरी और टर्सेरी Similarly, if you want to see that life insurance fund, how it is accounted for in the government system, how government accounts its money, what is the top line? If you have to talk about the top line of government of India, what will say number you will give? Are Baba as simple as that GDP, isn't it? You will be talking about GDP. Everybody is talking about GDP only. That is that is the that is the top line of government of, government of India or the country. You can say that is the top line of the country. Now in GDP, where is insurance? And then you will have to see in GDP. You will have to go to GDS. In GDS, you will have to go to household savings. In household savings, you will have to go to insurance funds. And in insurance funds, you will have to again go to the life insurance and general insurance and that like that. When you compare it, traditionally, you find that insurance has been contributing 2 to 2.5% two of the GDP. Though it is a small contribution, but it is significant. But that will give, a, I will say, a neutral view that what role insurance can play or what role insurance is playing in the nation or national development. Numbers I will not give you. Numbers you can find out. Google is great. Only a few points more I will talk to you friends. What we have not done? What we have done everything? What we have not done? How many people? 130 crore, right? 1.3 1, 1. billion, something like that. Out of 130 crore people. In this NIA, I have been first taught about the human life value. And out of 130 crore people, insurance companies or life insurance companies, how many people have been insured? It has become fashionable to talk about the American lingo, American language, American frame, everything. Let me talk about insurance penetration, insurance density. But the simple thing is that how many people have been covered? And if human life has a value, then whose, whose value it is? It is a national asset. If a building is, a road is gone, or a dam is gone, a river is dried up, whose, whose assets are lost? It's the country's asset. So the human beings are also country asset. Our Prime Minister also says that our human, our people are the biggest asset. Am I correct or not? Now if an asset is extinguished without money, without any compensation, without any indemnification, whose loss is this? We have insured very few people and we have adequately insured very, very, very few people. It is taken as that, okay, I have taken one tikka and now I am protected. Very well. This is what we have not done. This is what is the original statement. Everybody in insurance should talk only first in terms of coverage. Then only thereafter. And ensure that if there is a magic man, I could have seen that nobody dies uninsured. Because he is a capital. And it is a national loss. 
This has not, we have not done. We have, uh, we have not done anything about green cover. Unfortunately, we take it our role as financial institution only. But there are very, very few companies available who are working and who, where we could have invested, we should have invested, and we have not. In olden times, LIC used to invest in municipal corporations and other things, other institutions who are primarily responsible for these works wherein they are able to create sustainability for life, whether in the form of, uh, you say that, uh, I mean, uh, creating that sewage system, creating that uh, cleaning system, and all those things. That is one area where we have not done it. Again, if we have a magic wand, we can say that 20% of the money will go only in that direction. Perhaps that will change. Again, we have, we have not done. We have not done much for insurance education and awareness. I wish that there should have been NIA, at least like I have these 10, 12 cities, building young people with insurance strength, with insurance knowledge, and with thinking about the future, because it is only the insurance which is the hope. If you don't think about future, you don't have hope. Friends, sir, I do not know that, uh, again I will repeat the same thing, I do not know whether I have been able to justify, I have taken enough time, justify the question, but I have tried to address it from my heart the way I would like that an insurance company should think and act further. Thank you very much and all the best.